I would say for Holy, at the moment, it looks like the best stats you can just go for is obviously Int as a priority. You just prioritize Int everywhere, so like item level basically. And then you want to go for Spirit as much as, as possible. The Mastery doesn't seem that strong. If you look, Echo of Light is quite low down, so I would say Mastery is actually not that valuable for you. So maybe outside of uh, Spirit, either Crit or Haste, as personal preference, I would say, is going to be superior. The Mastery, as I say, I don't have that much Mastery, but uh, in this long game, the base is still not doing that much, and you're obviously going to, you know, you have to get a fair bit of Mastery if you want to increase this, and you're, you're going to maybe, like, double it. Um, but even if you triple it, right, it's still only at, like, here. So it's, it's definitely not that big of a deal to, to pick up Mastery, and I think at the cost of a lot of Spirit, it's not going to be worth it. So that's that's your gearing. So this is the gear that I've picked up. I actually need to change the neck. A spirit one on there. Go do that now. But yeah, so we've gone for the Mooncloth Helm with Int Resil Enchant and Int Gems Int Silence Meta. Then we'll just grab the spirit neck. Where is it? Am I blind? This one. We chuck that on. Bit of extra spirit. Then we go for the Mooncloth Mantle with Int Resil and Int Resil. In yellow sockets, in red sockets, we're just going intellect, and in blue sockets, we're going in spirit. We take the pen cloak that should just just cover our pen with the 200. You look, the shadow pro is 195, so the 200 will cover that. Then robe again, the spirit one with the same gems. 20 all stats enchant, 50 in enchant on braces. Then we've gone for the spell blade to kill totems and the reprieve for the extra 40 in enchant. And then we've obviously reforged the crit. And, and just general stats we're reforging to Spirit. We've got the Darkman card and regular Resil Trinket. We can also switch that to Spirit Trinket if needed. And then the Spirit Ring and a Crit Ring. And then the Crit is reforged to Spirit. Spirit Boots, Mooncloth Legs. Obviously, we're going for that four set. Cord of Meditation, and again, Spirit, Spirit Belt, and then Satin Gloves. Now, what you can actually do, you could also run the Mooncloth Gloves for the extra haste. And you can switch out the potentially the helm. The helm has, has mastery on, right? So if you don't want the mastery, you can switch the helm out to something else. Uh, or the legs if you don't want the crit. I was running the PvE legs as disc. Not sure if you can get away with that as holy as you're getting pumped a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'd say potentially re replacing the helm with... I don't even know what the satin one has on it. Satin one has haste. So you could drop the, the mastery and pick up some haste. And I don't think that's the worst, worst play in the world. But again, it comes down to personal preference, whether you want more crit, more haste, or whatever. But I, yeah, looking at the numbers, I don't think the mastery is actually going to be that strong, especially this season. So maybe swerve that in favor of the other stats. Um, and you'll notice that there's no hit really on the gear. And the reason for that is with my current spec, because I'm holy, it means I can pick up all these things early on right, as part of the build. And that allows me then to go into shadow. I don't really need to go that deep into disc. And that allows me to go into shadow and pick up this talent. And what this does is it converts my spirit to hit. So I'm getting a bunch of hit from my conversion without actually gearing for hit at all. This actually covers my hit cap and allows me to, instead of taking a bunch of hit items, I can just put spirit items in, in place. And this actually adds up to like 315 spirit or something for one talent. So this is a really, really valuable talent to, to take as a result of that. And then we've got three haste, some cooldown on Shadow Fiend on the way, and then some Fear CDR as well. And you could actually drop the, the Fear CDR if you want. If you don't want to play with Fear CDR, you can put some points in Mental Agility, and then either Imp Shield or Twin Disciplines. Depends on what you prefer. So that's that's kind of the, where the talents are at. Uh, I haven't taken Divine Touch or Rapid Renewal. The uh, actual healing benefit of this is quite low, and I actually think point for point, you're actually going to get more healing from Twin Disciplines than from Divine Touch. And then obviously the, the global cooldown reduction is obviously nice, but you're not going to be redoing, renewing that much that you're going to save so much time doing this. So it's not really worth the talent point. So instead we put a couple of points in Test of Faith. Currently we don't play Spirit of Redemption because apparently if you take this and Guardian Spirit, then this will proc before the Guardian Spirit does and the Guardian Spirit will not save you. So you'll just die basically. So it's, it's uh, currently bugged. Unsure if it's going to stay that way, but that's why we haven't taken that. Other than that, we're grabbing most other talents to get down to the 31 pointer. There's not that much else to take. Circle of Healing might be nice in threes. Not that useful in twos as it's quite expensive and doesn't heal that many people. So that's why we skipped on that one. And that's the build. It's not, not too complicated in Kata. And again, it might be subject to some, some tweaks or changes. 
But this is what I'm liking at the moment from initial testing. Uh, as for glyphs for holy, there's a couple of options, but I think mostly you want the renew and guardian is the, is the big two. I think that people are going to kill Lightwell, but if they don't, then this could be okay. But I think mostly Lightwell is going to get killed. I think in threes, the glyph of flash shield is going to be decent. Um, so you'll probably want to run that maybe instead of the shield one. Although the shield one definitely has some value. I think that I'm shielding more in twos than I would in threes. Just to kite around and stuff. So yeah, the flash shield is definitely going to be strong there. And then for majors, you're definitely going to run pom glyph. Uh, the Desperation is, is Guardian and PS well stunned, so that's uh, a must-have, I think. And then Master Spell Glyph is your pretty solid third option. Again, you could swap that out for Inner Fire if you want, if you want to tank better. So obviously, this is adding quite a nice bit of armor. And then Miners is just Fort, uh, Fiend, and then you can drop Levitate. If you, have, you want to hold a bunch of feathers, otherwise you can chuck Levitate on instead of Shadow Pro. Arguably, Haste is good for getting the Chakra Weaving down. <laughs> the hell, dude. The speed on the shield is so insane. I need a freedom here. Freedom here would be lovely. I really thought I could chastise him first. Might be. I need to see the cooldown on the, the freedom. Click the well, boys. Oh, keep clicking the well. You can do it, Mr. Boy. It's right there. It's on top of you, bro. Keep clicking that well. Yes, my lad. Good stuff. We are the ultimate split DPS gamers, I swear, man.
Come on, boys. You can do it. You can do it. Go, go, go. Yes. Dude, I swear I entered the fucking game so hard with my first trinket. It was actually just over it instantly otherwise. Dude, the holy mana is pretty good though. Against casters at least. Seems fucking strong. 